Want to get out of debt and want to get out of credit card debt? Let's talk about it. We've got ways to help you do that. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I put on the show called The Dollar is Dead. And we dive into economic circumstances and ways to get out of debt, as well as ways to preserve your wealth because the rich keep assets, not dollars. We go over that on Fridays. So let's jump into these three different things. J.P. Morgan Chase, Wells Fargo, Suffer. They lost $3.5 billion. Why? They lost it because... They're declaring these two banks together, 3.5 billion in debt that customers can't pay back. JP Morgan Chase says it's net charge-offs, that's delinquent debts. In other words, someone hasn't been paying their credit card bills, and all of a sudden they realize they're never gonna pay it. 2.2 billion in the second quarter of the year. A 200 million increase from the previous quarter and 800 from a quarter last year. Meanwhile, Wells Fargo, surged from 764 million in Q2 of last year to 1.3 billion last quarter. 1.3 billion dollars in one quarter they lost. Okay, how does this affect you? Well, when banks are losing money like this, they're gonna tighten lending standards. It might be harder to get a credit card. They may diminish how much you can actually take out. They may change your credit limits. They may also uh, increase the rate at which you have to pay to cover the people that aren't paying. So you just wanna get out of credit card debt because in times like this, when I believe that we are in economic, we have economic issues, unemployment's going up, inflation's been been going up and still going up, and the Fed hasn't changed rates yet. So what can you do? How can you get out of debt? They're talking about these ec economists here saying, let's see, that not only are they struggling with credit card balances, that's because their savings are dwindling. And they also talk about mortgages having an issue. They lost, JP Morgan, 500 million in losses from failing mortgage investments, okay? So people aren't able to pay their bills. We're in bad times. That doesn't help rates in general. Two things, delinquency rates. This is the rate at which people are delinquent, are not paying their bills. In 2021, this gray line here that goes straight up and down represents the virus and then handouts of money. And of course, people got free money, they were able to pay their bills. Free money printing's over, thank goodness. We were at 1.5% delinquency rate, which is the lowest in quite a long time. What's that, 1990 till now? So 30 some years. It skyrocketed in the last three years from 1.5 to 3.16. And it looks like the trajectory is going up, which isn't good. Last time it's been here was back in 2012. But if you look at the past, it's been around what? An average of about four and a half percent for half of the last 35 years. So we're not that high, generally speaking. It's the trajectory here and how fast this has gone up that's concerning. This was the 2008 financial crisis and you can see it got up to almost 7%. All right, consumer loans in general. This is how much debt consumers have had in credit cards total. Go back to the 2000s. This starts in 2000, 200 billion in debt 23 years ago. Now. One, over one trillion in debt. That went up 5X. It dropped after the free money printing, and then it shot up. This is 21, 730 billion. Another 300 billion in just three years. That is astronomical. It has seemed to flatline, which is great. All right, what do you do? Well, I have many shows on ways to get out of debt. Two methods, a snowball method and the Avalanche Method. If you go to our main site, HackYourCreditCards.com, I'll have a link below. We've got multiple buttons to get you to the calculators. We're creating these and making these constantly, and they're in different categories. Let's talk about credit card. I put them first because credit card debt is typically your highest percentage rate debt and the one you want to get out first. This calculator here just allows you to pay it off faster if how much money do you have extra each month. But if you want to compare debt and Avalanche, and I would say right now, Try the debt snowball calculator, then come back and put in the same info to the avalanche because the debt snowball calculator, this one here, what it does is goes after the smallest balance first. The avalanche goes after the highest percentage rate first, and usually this one's better. Let me just show you how they're both laid out real quick. I'll have links below. Each page has a video on how the method works. I do it on a whiteboard. And then how this calculator itself works. You scroll down below this example here matches what's in the video. It's got written description as well. You can delete or add debts, credit cards, personal loans, cars, you can have five credit cards, two, whatever you need to put here. And then hit calculate, it'll tell you what you save. It'll tell you where 
to pay? Which debts and when? These are months. How much do you send in for each one? How quickly can you pay it off? If you have extra money, you can put it here, maybe another $100 a month. You don't need it for these methods, but if you have it, it'll help reduce it even faster and you can see the impact right here. Then simply go back to the calculators. That was the debt snowball, hit that avalanche and you'll see that it's the same layout. We're gonna have the explanation here on the whiteboard and then here the description of the calculator itself to walk you through it. An example, in this example you can see you can just change it. If you wanna delete one, you delete one. You wanna add one, you say, oh yeah, I have card, we'll call this card two, $20,000, it's a 24%. And it'll tell you things like, hey, your payment's too low. This isn't even gonna pay it. In other words, you will never pay this off at this amount. So you look at your statement, it says your 500 a month minimum, you put it there. And it'll tell you that savings, and again, same thing. And if you have extra money, you can put it here, recalculate, and you can see the additional interest cost and the savings. So that's it for today. I hope this is helpful. Three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I put on the show. And then constantly throughout the week, I put on more calculators, more ways of getting out of debt. Please do subscribe so you can go through the playlists and see all the various ways to help you get out of debt, as well as watching the show so we discuss how to preserve your wealth every Friday. I always say the government does not care about you. Get that out of your head. Banks don't care about you. Get that out of your head. You're just a moneymaker for them. If you want true freedom, you need financial freedom, and only you can take control of your freedom. Please do subscribe and hit that like button. And actually, most importantly, if you would, if you've been able to get out of debt or you're on your way, share your experiences, share your, share your failures, share your successes, because it helps motivate other people that are in the same situation who also want to get out of debt. Have a great day, and I appreciate you.